Maynard, my uh, wife just called, and I have German shepherds, and one of, them, one of them said to the other, Maynard's in town. Yeah. <laughs> i got to ask you about that instrument. Well, this is the instrument I used on the introduction, and it's called the uh, uh, MF Firebird. Yeah. And uh, it's, yeah, right. <laughs> I knew you'd like that. And it's actually uh, uh, an instrument of my own design. What is the advantage of that, having the valves and on, having the slot? I don't understand. Well, there's a certain uh, thing. I have another instrument. Uh, they're the same version in the trombone. And uh, the reason for that is there's a certain beautiful and sensuous quality to uh, the human voice and certain string instruments and a slide from bone uh, that has that romanticism because they slide and it has that certain smooth thing uh, that you can't really duplicate uh, with a valve instrument. So uh, I got together with the technicians in uh, Holton and uh, uh, we came up with this instrument. What reaction are you getting to it? Uh, well, we're getting a lot of reaction from classical players as well as uh, jazz players. And uh, it's Did you, uh, you bell slammed it too. Right, it, it looks like the Dizzy Gillespie model. Uh, so Dizzy your throat looks like the Dizzy Gillespie yeah, model. Yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> uh, and in this case, I had the bent. <laughs> but there were some very rude remarks from the boys just then, but we'll let that go. <laughs> right. That's a rude remark? That's definitely. That's a, that's a raunchy laugh, is right. what that is. <laughs> I actually had to bend the bell up like this so I could get the slide into the outer positions. Uh, otherwise, I'd be banging into it, and it'd be a disaster. We yeah. talked about this before. I was trying to tell Melvin, you have a special process of breathing, a special way of breathing. Well, about yoga exercises, doesn't it? That's, that's right. Actually, uh, uh, there's a fair uh, amount of variance on them, but uh, one of the ones that uh, I try to teach when we go into the schools is the... Uh, uh, some of the uh, yoga books, uh, when, they, uh, when you turn to the pages that deal with prana and pranayama, uh, uh, deal with um, the fact that most Westerners don't uh, breathe c uh, correctly through their nose when they inhale. And um, uh, they talk about it as either throat breathing or, in some cases, uh, uh, they call it nose breathing, but it really has to do with um, a difference in sound. Can, can you lower that a little bit? Sure. Uh, most people, when they uh, inhale, uh, oh, first of all, uh, there's no such thing as a super strong lip. Lip? Yeah, uh, in a trumpet player. It's really the strength is his coordination and his air, air power. Is that the lungs and all yeah. the other? You say the aperture has nothing to do with how high a guy can go? Oh, that, that has a certain amount, but very little in today's high power playing. You know, and, uh, it's where you send the breath. Right. But also, most people, when they inhale, get this sound. Just bring it way down. Uh, the, the sound, you'll notice that my nose will move, and you'll uh, hear this sound. Now, if I ask... Right, and that's the way most people uh, uh, breathe. And if you can concentrate on leaving it open here and uh, pretending that your nose is frozen and uh, pay attention to your diaphragm, of course, then the uh, sound is more like this. Is there an advantage? Well, there is one advantage. That is, the guys in the band have been uh, uh, recommending that we uh, make a tape of this and sell it for X-rated films. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> she, she just mentioned the telephone line, man. <laughs> I love that. Hey.